Leading up to this series, you guys have talked a lot about their transition game and their speed. How hard was it to handle tonight? Yeah, I think everything we talked about leading up to this game, they showed us tonight. Uh, I think we didn't really execute our plan for the first 40 minutes, and then uh, you saw in the last 20 minutes, we wake up and we're able to dominate the last period. So I think uh, that game definitely doesn't scare me. It's a long series, and uh, I think we're going to get the better of them. Nick Abrazizi getting his first playoff goal at the pro level. Why do you think your guys' line is having so much success in the postseason? I think it's a good balance. Uh, there's good communication on the line. We all enjoy hanging out with each other off the ice, and it bleeds on the ice. Uh, I think obviously with Shazi leading the way, and then he's such a nifty player, he's able to get in tight, and I'm a little more gritty, so I think it works to combo the three of us. What did you like about the team's effort in the third and the comeback mentality you guys know you have? Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't quit on each other. Uh, we got a good group in there. We know we weren't happy with our first 40, like I said, and we believed in ourselves that we could come back in that game, and we were uh, an inch short. So I think we play better 40 minutes, and uh, there's a different result there tonight. In the other series, your opponent would get the first goal or even the first two goals in the game. This time you got the first goal. What does that difference in setting the tone, even if it ultimately didn't get you the win? Uh, yeah, you always want to come out hot, especially at home. Uh, you want to get the building involved. Uh, hopefully, if we get to the first one next time, we can sustain it a little bit longer. But uh, we, were not, we weren't able to respond after that first goal, so we didn't use the momentum of it. Heading into this series, some of the keys that you wanted to focus on against this Rochester team is taking away their speed and transition game. How hard was it to handle as a group? Uh, well, we certainly didn't do a good job of it. Uh, too many turnovers through the middle of the rink, especially at the offensive blue line. Uh, we did fuel a lot of their offense. Um, you know, it, unfortunately, we didn't play the way we did in, against Utica. Uh, I think our, our tough lesson is we've got to do it all the time and be consistent with it. Obviously, that was just the first game in this long series. So what do you hope to take into the next game against Rochester? Uh, getting, getting back to consistency with what we know winning hockey is. Um, there were spurts there. In that game, uh, a little bit in the second, uh, more so in the third, where the guys finally realized, okay, well, if we're not going not gonna to play the right way, and uh, we'll get back to the plan. And they, they did that in the third, and, and we got the ice tilted a little bit better. Um, so now, hopefully, it's just the belief in the room that we need to be doing that for 60 minutes for every game moving forward. No success for you guys on the power play today. Do you feel that it's you weren't set up properly in getting the right chances, or do you think they just made it really hard on the PK? Uh, they just made it hard on entries. We needed to get more depth on it. Too many, again, turnovers of the puck at the blue line, whether it's five on five or, or special teams on the power play. Uh, our, our details just have to be sharper. What did you like about the bounce back effort in the third? I mean, anytime we push all season, our team's been resilient. Uh, there's been great character and never giving up right to the buzzer. Our team that demonstrated that again today. Uh, just need the belief that from the start of the game, we've got to play a certain way. What did you think of the penalty kill tonight? Uh, certainly frustrating. We can't take that many penalties um, and expect ourselves or give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, a lot of that, too, was because we were mismanaging the puck. We were putting ourselves in bad sequences uh, where we were behind them chasing it. They were allowed to get above. And when we don't stay above, when we don't manage the puck, uh, those are the types of things that uh, come throughout the game when we're not smart with how we're playing.